hardware and software uh, devices and modules <coughs> to integrate and how to integrate them, uh, prerequisites and the dependencies for what needs to be at hand to implement um, <coughs> certain uh, uh, functions and uh, parts of the module. Uh, you needed the brick to send uh, communication. We needed the uh, brick uh, firmware. That's uh, some of the things that you list in this uh, document. Uh, also, uh, we we uh, decided, Dora as a test manager and me as an integration manager, to combine the test plan and the integration plan and, uh, to combine the information into one document because we thought that would be a better way uh, to more effectively make use of the uh, information that we wanted to uh, give to our uh, team members. Uh, we have a schedule there in this integration plan uh, and uh, there is also a list of uh, program stubs to, uh, uh, that we have in this will be the simulation part of the of your modules that we have used and uh, that you will be uh, discussing uh, demonstrating uh, later on. Yeah. Question on that? This uh, it seems at least driver position has at the moment no working due to <coughs> when is the uh, Great assistance planned from core to aid in that setup and today. today. <laughs> 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 project plan version 2.0.2 and now I have extended my project plan to the some appendix documents like we have risk management plan which uh, tracks some risks, uh, we have some risk assessment and how the risk management will be done, some uh, planning of the risk if some types of risk is done. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, sure. I was thinking what was the biggest risk that you identified? Ah, you we were feeling that the Bluetooth was the risk and the USB was because the Bluetooth communication as we have really was kind of reliable and we tried the USB but uh, still we didn't solve the real issue so we are now using the US, uh, Bluetooth that's how we test something we feel that it's a risk uh, and you can see in the risk log we will upload it as soon as possible and we have some plan that how this risk will be solved and what's our idea about that and we have also some performance management plan which uh, just to specify what, was, what will be our standard of the performance and some measurements, how we will measure our performance. Uh, we have also some performance tracking logs and uh, monitoring the evaluation. Each module uh, the group has developed. That's what we have in performance management plan. Is this all uh, two documents are on uh, S3 and so you can look at. How will you measure performance? Sorry, uh, out of curiosity, how will you measure performance? Uh, it's not yet, uh, but I can say that uh, we have read your uh, CFG document and how the core should be in the... Yeah, it's almost it's about uh, the CPU used and the, the, the RAM, so... Something about that. What I was going to comment on was in general that uh, I, I, it's very interesting and it's good that you have more details, but more on the how and why mm -hmm. is, and I say this to this group so all the other groups have a chance of understanding that when they present. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have also currently ongoing fire report, so we can have anything now because we have just started with introduction. <coughs> and Plan for the third session. Uh, about yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, first, well, the my most important things that we have done in our series, of course, with the great video module, and not just with the dummies that we created so far. 
Um, one example is what Max gave here with the for um, with the identifying, no, with not with identifying, with the position of right, of course, also with all the other groups. Um, yes, and so the related to that is also testing of the whole system. Um, <coughs> We have to do quite a lot more stress testing with an integrated system in the end. We have done some stress testing as far as I understood. The other side would do single, single parts, for example, how many messages we can process per minute or how many messages we are able to send and receive. But um, our goal for the outside is to just provide a system where the other models should, shouldn't have to worry about latency or um, the amount of messages that you process. So it has to be on one side um, fast enough to so that it's completely very free and on the other hand um, we will also not take up too much performance from the CPU and RAM so um, and which is also related to battery downtime the end if the Fox port doesn't draw too much power so to both be fast and not taking up too much and CPU at the same time. Yes and of course we have to finalize our documentation then and it's right so that we are able to submit them pretty much it it's a third phrase now to see with that. Um, the other part, I don't know how far we got here with making Linux and how is it with presentation presenting on the projection of the general. How we're borrowing this one here. You we have working. It's really a massive part of the Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> is that you now? <laughs> I have some interesting facts during this last time. Star has managed to, to send, I think, 1,000 messages per second on a, on a PC. Uh, so uh, we are not expecting that kind of performance, not, a, not even close to that kind of amount of messages, but uh, <coughs> many, the, the queue is working and uh, the messages uh, are being sent. Uh, and the Bluetooth is... Uh, two connections at the same time, and it's yeah. about a thousand messages a minute per device. So should I handle what I'm doing? Not be afraid to send messages. Have a beautiful message stops for every subsystem. I know 